This video may contain minor bouts of violence, dirty language, and many shenanigans. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Up, people Patrick here here to do that promised gear loadout video so let's get started you know we're gonna start off with the blue moon you know it's Super Bowl Sunday we decided you know have a few drinks we decided you know have a few drinks do some gear videos have a good old time watch the Super Bowl because I don't care about either teams so but uh let's get started on the gear loadout we're gonna start with my pack I have the granite gear Crown V60 pack, and it weighs about. Let me go ahead and get How the back. Get How the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> okay, this thing sucks. So <laughs> weighs 2.2 pounds. So. Decent lightweight pack for budget. I think I paid $150 for it on Amazon. And it's definitely a good budget pack. It's not the expensive one. So, but it's lighter than the Osprey. It's lighter than pretty much everything else out on the market other than the Z packs and that kind of stuff. So, let's go on to my tarp. It's a Chill Gorilla Fortress True 2 Rainfly. And it has, it's 11 foot 6 at the ridge line. Comes with some pretty awesome little, uh, the little triangle stakes with it. I don't know where the hell they're at. Comes with some little triangle stakes, the, the good notched ones for tensioning your line down. They've already got some mud on them. They've had use, you know. Got little notches, nice, nice stuff. I like it. It's the most expensive tarp I've ever bought. $115, $140 for this damn thing. Too much money, but hey, if it keeps me dry, I guess it's worth it. Okay, let's do a weight, the tarp without the stakes. If the wind would stop blowing and throwing the scale off. Tarp without the stakes is a whopping, hold on, whoa, whoa, the weight's going up. 42 ounces, holy shake is far. All right, so that's the tarp with the stakes. The stakes weigh 4.1 ounces. So that's my tarp system. We'll go ahead and move on to the sleep system. I've got the Live Infinitely, same thing old Kenny's got. And that one weighs 14.8 ounces. I'm getting a lot of weight here already, right? I've got the Eno Double Nest Hammock. It's that Double Nest LED hammock, because I'm fancy. And I like having ambient light and not burning up my headlamp. So, then I've got the Yukon Outfitters under quilt. This thing goes down to 35 degrees. It is basically a mock-up of the Eno Ember, but not with the price tag. But that bad boy weighs 30.9 ounces. That's the sleep system. Oh, wait, 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 we got the moon lens sleeping pad which this thing is completely useless for thermal value really but damn it it's comfortable and I'm taking it and that weighs 16.75 ounces all right we got an old oh yeah that's my whole sleep system there guys and we got an old Ozark Trail or not the Columbia Columbia 15 year old dry rotted um, rain cover for my pack I'm gonna treat it in the silicone denatured alcohol setup like Kenny did with his tarp next thing the Z seat because yeah I may not be rich but I can afford some luxuries all right and that weighs 2.1 ounces can you believe it it's fantastic that is the whole sleep system comfort system all in wrapped in one there got the Sawyer squeeze with a two liter platypus bag and the squeeze comes with this nice little dry bag, or this nice little bag. It'll work as a gravity bag. I can just slide that bad boy right up in there. You, you know how it goes. I ain't got to explain. So I'm not even going to weigh that. It weighs, I'm going to guess and say an ounce, all right, because it's so damn light. All right, we got flushable wipes. 
all right equate value brand all right and these things are going to keep me clean on my tushy you know and they weigh 9.5 ounces that is insane what am i thinking yeah. so next we got my battery pack it's got a high efficiency solar panel on it it's capable of charging two usb ports and you can do a wall charge all that stuff it's got a stupid ass flashlight on the end that just juices the crap out of it so i never use it but it's a 20,000 milliamp hour battery it charges five volts on the port and it's got quick charge so, I mean, this thing's pretty cool. I've had it for a while, and it does the job. I'll charge my phone about three or four times. So, oh, and to add to the sleep system, I have my down sleeping bag. It's so soft. It's so wonderful. I love this thing. And I'll, I'll show you guys a surprise about it later on, you know. But it is a, a Pariah brand. It's a 15-degree bag, and... Its grand weight is probably too big for this scale. I'll scoot it a little. Beer. Okay, grand total weight is 23 ounces. Nice warm sleeping bag. I've used it, it has kept me warm, so I'm happy with it. Got the old green frog togs because I didn't want to matching colors with Kenny there because you know once again I don't want to be butt buddies like that we love each other but not not like that all right and I also got this water bottle holder it's a gonex or gonads whatever you want to call it it's 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 pretty cool you know it's cheap it's heavy it's got the uh, molly system on it where I could strap it to my pack in any different way I want I can hook it to my belt it's gonna rock on it's gonna kick ass so and as Kenny, I've got the 30 liter uh, AquaQuest Rogue dry bag, and that is for my sleep system. Got some Crocs for my camp shoes. I also have the 20 liter camo here for my clothes bag, so we'll bust into the clothes bag here. All right, I haven't decided if I'm actually going to bring this. But I think Kenny gave this to me like 20 years ago or some shit. It's a caribou coffee, a, a whatever. You know, it might be warm. I don't know. I haven't even tried it in 15 years. So it could be dry rotted with moth holes in it. I don't know. You know, we've got this. Me and Kenny got the same socks because these things are warm as hell. The Arctic Extreme brand, you know, weights are all on the bottom. So on that stuff, I'm not weighing my socks. Um... You know, two pair of darn tough socks, one to wear, one to change into. So I'm wearing one right now. And I also have the Ultra, I can't do it, 3.5s, Lone Peak 3.5s. And I love these damn shoes, they're awesome. Got a pair of Columbia pants just like Kenny, same thing. I'm blue, because I like blue better. You know, zip off legs, they're convertibles. They kick ass, they only weigh, oh, don't do that. They only weigh nine ounces, 10 ounces, and they will be on my ass most of the time. So I have a Russell UV dry fit shirt with some vent holes under the pits so my, my floppies can air out and don't smell like shit too bad, you know. And then I'm bringing some, some just ch cheap ass underwear and I guarantee you these things are lighter than an ex officio. So mess with that. Yeah, 1.95 ounces. Can't mess with that at ex officio, that's, that's lightweight. All right, I'll have one pair that I'm gonna wear, the other pair that I can change into. And I've got some Rocky Mountain Thermals that I got off of Amazon. And honestly, I don't know if they're that warm, but we'll find out. They're lightweight. The whole set together weighs 12 ounces. So that's my thermal, that's my base layer. And as far as like luxury items, I'm gonna be bringing, and this might get ditched later on, sent back to me, my Nectech solar panel. I 
I know everybody says solar panels are worthless on the green tunnel trail, but this is a high efficiency panel and it charges pretty fast. It does, it's a 21 watt solar charger. So I mean, it'll, in a good, good open sun, it'll charge my phone in about 40 minutes. And then we've got, what else do we have here? What else? Okay, I haven't decided if these are coming with me yet because they're so damn heavy, but God, they're warm. All right, they're my real tree. My real tree thick, plush, warm pants that'll just keep my bum nice and warm in my hammock. You know, so that was a sug, a sug quote if you didn't, you didn't catch that. My hammock. All right. And then we've got the, the toiletries and everything else bag. Okay, got my toilet paper. Got a balaclava. It's got a little breather bin in it. And it, it uh, got it off of Amazon. It doesn't weigh enough to even weigh. And I'm bringing a pair of these work gloves. They're power grab work gloves. And they're about, I'd say they're 70% waterproof on most of the surface. The back might be a little little absorbent but I think they'll do the trick and they'll give me a good grip on stuff and uh, just like Kenny I've got a coast headlamp this thing can't weigh anything it's got a red light it's um, it's more lumens than a black diamond I promise you that okay and it weighs it weighs drum roll please 4.3 ounces so I'm excited about that takes triple-a batteries um that is some headgear for my camera setup and then i've got the a wall guy 2019 no bows that's what we are and i i want to correct something that i learned through the a wall guide is that the trail the mileage has went up this year Okay, it's no longer 2,190 miles, it's 2,192. All right, so that's some extreme shit. You know, I don't know how we're gonna handle it, that extra two miles, that's too much. Too much, can't do it. All right, and next we're gonna go over the camera gear. Cause I'm doing all the video editing and all the, all the, uh, all the photography, all the videography, let's say, I, I can't get that word out, so we're going to go over the camera gear. I've got this little stuff sack, this orange stuff sack, kind of give it a background contrast so I don't forget my camera gear in the damn woods, because I'm, I'm good at forgetting shit, okay? So we're going to start out with the backup camera. The, this is going to be like just a camera to do second shots and stuff. It's an Acaso V50 action camera. And it shoots in 4K, 30 frames a second, 1080 at 60 frames, you know, the whole the whole get up. It does the slow-mo 720, time lapse, all that stuff. It's got a waterproof case. It's good up to 30 meters, I think. As usual, you know, it's got terrible sound. So if you're gonna use this camera, don't expect the sound quality to be good, especially with the case on. It's it's almost none. Alright, so what you would want to do is just use this for like secondary shots and you know your walk up shots your walk away shots all that kind of stuff i plan on getting pretty in depth with the camera with the the video footage and that's why i'm going to carry the extra weight okay but it um what else what else about this camera oh it's a 23 me 21 megapixel camera on here instead of the 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 normal 8 megapixel and maybe 13 megapixel the other cameras come with like i've got the tg tracker that I am recording on right now, and it doesn't need a waterproof case to go up to 33 meters, I do believe is. And, but it only has an eight, eight megapixel camera on it. It's got GPS and it's got the altimeter and all that other stuff, but it's only an eight megapixel camera, but that's all you need to do 4K video. Just so everybody knows that. I'm kind of a tech junkie and I, I like some of this stuff. I can't afford the expensive shit, but I know what it does. So, and also, the emergency, all right? This is vital for cold weather camping, all right? Toe warmers, they stick to the bottom of your shoes. It's not your shoes, they stick to the bottom of your socks. All right, you put them on the bottom of your shoes, they're gonna get fucked in about five minutes, all right? So, oh, I'm dropping stuff, hold on. 
I'm bringing some extra little Velcro straps for something. I don't know if I'm even going to bring them yet. I might cut that weight out. You never know. I'm not weighing them because it's pointless. All right, got the, the bug net. That was Kenny's idea, by the way. This is the, the paint bucket strainer for the bug net. And I think it'll work fantastically. Look at me. I'm covered. Covered good. Um, I'm going to have some rubber gloves waterproofing for those 60% waterproof gloves that I got there, you know, so that'll, that'll make them 100%, maybe 110. Can you get that far? All right, a comb, all right? Even though my hair is falling out, I'm still gonna bring a comb because I wanna pretend like it's not, all right? I'm not weighing that shit either, it's not happening. All right, maybe some paracord, that might get tossed out of here. Um, I've got this thing, I'm not gonna state what it is. Oh, oh, wind, wind. Okay, everybody's gonna think I am a psycho because I'm bringing a mirror. All right, because I like to look at myself in my bug net. Look how beautiful I am. Not really. I just use it to trim my trim my nose hairs, all that good stuff. You know, get rid of those pesky nose hairs. All right, and I have a pen, an empty pen. See, see me? No. Got some Luco tape, some duct tape. Figured it'd come in handy, even though we all are carrying Luco tape and all carrying duct tape, so we're gonna have enough for damn near everybody on the trail. I'm also bringing some camo earplugs because I don't want anybody to see my earplugs. Um. So what's next? Oh, I've got for my camera setup. I've got three batteries for the TG Tracker and two batteries for the Acaso. And then I also have a battery charger for the Acaso. I'm gonna get one for the TG Tracker, I think, for those batteries, because that's a pain in the butt. Um, I've got a Black Web dual port charger. And then what they're not using, I will. Because <laughs> I'm gonna have to charge a lot of stuff, and that's why I brought the solar panel, because you know if I can get 20 minutes a week, or an hour a week out of that solar panel, it's gonna charge my devices while I'm out in the wilderness. And that by itself is golden, so. Let's get all this stuff put back away and we will weigh my entire camera setup. If I can get it back in here. Okay. And I've got about a terabyte, close to a terabyte of uh, micro SD cards that I'm taking with me so that I can do different video swaps and just have one for my phone, have one for all my devices, make sure that we're covered on memory. Um, and I'm not throwing away much footage. I'm not gonna do like a lot of do people do and just edit it out and it disappears forever. So you guys will have some blooper reels, some shit to laugh at later on. Um, what else? Don't do it, beer. Pause for the cause, folks. All right, these are all my charging cords. You're probably looking at that like, holy shit, that's enough charging cords to charge every device in my house. And you might be correct. Okay, so I'm gonna have a six foot. It's the old school pattern, you know, the old school style ones. I'm gonna have a three foot and then a little bitty guy that I probably never get used and will probably get thrown away. Okay, and for my bear bag hanging kit, this is a homemade contraption and I do not know that it's gonna work, but I think it will. That's all that counts. You know, I've got 50 feet of some rip line. It's it's tight woven, so it won't catch up on the tree. And this little bag that I had, it's canvas with Velcro on it, and a little loop already there as my rock bag. And look, it's even got a hole in it already. All right, what else do we have? Really, not much else. I've got my food bag. Once again, the AquaQuest Rogue dry bag and inside of that I'm gonna keep my wicking line I might get rid of that I don't know it doesn't weigh anything so and my med kit inside my med kit and my this is my med slash or no this ain't my med kit is it yeah this is my med kit okay I've got the Skeeter Beater soap by Transsensuals I think that's how you say that right Transsensuals okay and this stuff smells pretty good 
It's got centronella in it, so it'll keep the mosquitoes away. And as far as all my little odds and ends, my med pack is actually this little guy right here. I got it from Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. And it looks like a little backpack. Isn't it cute? And it's got everything you could think of in there. All right, this has been my med kit for quite a while. So, no problems there. I'm bringing, also bringing a ace bandage. Okay, because a lot of people use like compression socks and all that stuff when they get swell, swelling going on. You know, my knee, I've had some issues with this knee over here. I think this might come in handy if I get swelling or any major pain out of it. Uh, I've got a emergency blanket, some super glue, my Colgate dollar store toothbrush that folds into itself and probably molds. You know, and then I've got a half a tube of toothpaste that I've used for the last two years. I think that about sums it up. Oh, no, 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 it doesn't. <laughs> Patrick don't use hiking, trekking poles. Patrick uses a spear. Okay, and I know you're looking at me like I'm ridiculous right now because I have a bug net on my head. And I'm a spear. This but is Sparta! Bear can fuck around, okay? And I'll give it to him. I don't plan on using it. That's why it's sheathed and so I don't stab myself or Kenny in the face with it accidentally or, or maybe purposefully. Uh, you know, it could happen. Like, there may be mild violence. I've warned you about that. But it's funny, and we don't mind hurting each other. We do it all the time. All right, and some other things I have here is I'm probably going to bring my real tree, old school, been through a lot of shit hoodie. It weighs hardly anything. It's got nice little pockets and a nice fat burn hole in the side from when I slept by a campfire half drunk one night so it's got character right character and that's what I like character okay and also got a Eddie Bauer I think it's an 800 fill I'm not quite sure it's warm as hell and it's goose down and it's a large tall so it fits me beautifully it's not very packable but it will fit my pack so I can Wad it up and it only weighs. This was also a dollar or uh, a Goodwill item that Kenny picked up for me. It weighs about 20 ounces. I think that about sums it up. That is all of my gear. And this, oh, shirt. This is the shirt I'm wearing right here. It's a Russell dry fit. It costs $8 at Walmart. And that's the kind of Walmart shopping I like to do. So guys, I think that pretty much boils everything down. Um, we will put the weights and, and stuff in the description so you guys can check out this gear for yourself. Most of it I got off of Amazon, I'll be honest. 99% of it I got off of Amazon at discounted rate. And that's why it's so oddball and different because I shopped, I've been shopping for this for about a year now, and I've been buying all of the the cheapest possible stuff. And one thing that you can take into account for this setup is the grand weight is going to be probably around 28 pounds, okay? But in the summertime, we're going to ditch about 7 pounds, 7 to 8 pounds of that weight, okay? Because our sleep systems are so heavy. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to do the hammock camping and do, you know, cheaper stuff that's not you know ultra lightweight like the z-packs and the the hyper light mountain gear and stuff like that i would love to have that stuff but i am too broke for that if i bought all that gear i wouldn't be able to go on the trail like i wouldn't have the money so i guess that's really it that sums it up so until next time guys it's time to get dirty <laughs>